Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. There are a variety of containers out there that are made specifically for the interests of sports enthusiasts. If you happen to have somebody in your family or a friend who loves baseball, for example, we can actually create floral art that actually represents that kind of theme with something like this. Here's another one for the baseball enthusiast, a glove. But it actually is a ceramic container that we can use to meet that particular interest. Here's one for somebody who loves golf. Isn't this neat? I really like this kind of container. And how about this one? This is one for somebody who just enjoys soccer. I think this is a really cool one. We can do all kinds of floral art in these things. Or how about this one for somebody who likes to bowl? I think that these are really, really neat containers. And that leads us to one of my favorites and one of my favorite sports, which is, of course, football. Football. And right at this time of the year, we're celebrating Super Bowl. And Super Bowl is not only a time where people enjoy the game, but they get together. They have parties. People assemble. Families get together. Friends get together. They'll have some food. They'll enjoy the game. It becomes a wonderful social undertaking. These kinds of containers can be used really, really well for this particular event because we'll have people over, we're decorating the house a little bit, a few flowers and some of these things can go a long way to themating a Super Bowl party. And so what we're going to be showing you in this particular uh, quick video are some ideas using some of these amazing football ceramic containers, simple things that you can come up with to enhance your life and that of your friends. Let me show you a few examples. I think you're going to find this very, very neat. Here, let's start with this one. We've got a lot of different designs here that we've got to show you, and I think you're really going to find this kind of interesting and kind of funky. Notice, this is the kind of container that could go in the, uh, in the TV room, it could go in the, uh, in the area where people are eating, in the dining room or kitchen, it could go in a living room. In other words, these are our designs that will work very, very well to enhance your home and really create a nice setting in a Super Bowl kind of party. And in this particular design, we've got quite a, an interesting variety of things here. Uh, you'll notice that we have here some of our lilies, a couple of orange lilies. We have several of our roses placed here, uh, some of our lily buds over here, a piece of hydrangea, and then wax flower, which are really coming in so nicely at this time of the year, working around the sides. A little bit of kiwi vine worked here. It is simple, it is quick, it is easy, and it reflects the kinds of things that you can do to enhance your Super Bowl parties using flowers. Here's another one. Our staff has been working very, very hard to come up with all kinds of interesting things for Super Bowl so that you can see some of the possibilities from a floral design point of view. This particular one, again, a very, very simple design, quick and easy, something that you could make up for yourself, for family and friends. A simple piece of hydrangea, beautiful white hydrangea placed in the middle. Some white mini carnations here, a few white mini carnations here, and then to finish it off, again, some of our amazing pinky lavender wax flower here, 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 and here. These kinds of designs are quick, easy, and a lot of fun to do. Have somebody with kind of wild tastes? Here, here's an example of where we can take this kind of thing. And again, a very, very fast solution in terms of floral designing. I come up with an interesting effect. This one is what I call a, a five second design. It takes five seconds to do. Take the container, drop some foam into it, a piece of hydrangea, some spring dry foliage kind of coming around and circling it, and there you go. Quick, easy, and fun, and yet wonderful to celebrate Super Bowl. Here's another one. And again, my viewer, we thought that we would show you a variety of different ideas in this inspirational video so that you can come up with some ideas on your own. This particular one features more yellowy kind of colors because if we look at it, you'll notice that in this particular uh, design, we happen to have uh, some yellow roses, a couple of yellow roses right here. We've got some yellow carnations here. 
and we've got some novelty palms here, 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 and here, and a few of our yellow uh, daisy palms, a little piece of eucalyptus, and a few pieces of uh, foliage from umbrella palm that are shooting out on the side. Again, something that you could do for this particular uh, event to enhance the life of yourself, your friends, and family. Quick and easy. Here's another one, my friends. Let's see this one. This happens to be one of my favorites. It happens to be the time of the year where we're getting in tulips. They're coming in. They're coming in beautifully. And look at this particular design. This one happens to be, I think, a really, really attractive one. And again, it's the kind of thing that you could do for your family and friends for Super Bowl. Or if you happen to be a professional floral designer, market something like this. We've got several of our roses placed here. We've got tulips here, 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 and here. And then just a little touch of wax flower. What could be easier than this? And yet, for a sport like football, it feels romantic. Isn't this great? I think that this one is one of my favorites. Here's another idea, my viewer, that you can enjoy for Super Bowl. Again, using the concept of our ceramic container that has the football motif in it. This particular one's a little wilder than the last one. In this particular design, if we study it, you'll notice that we have all kinds of weird things. First of all, we have some of our anthurium, a red anthurium here in the middle, a white one on this side, another white one on this side, some of our green athos palms here and here. This wild stuff here is called Australian pine. It is amazing stuff, holds up amazingly well, and it is really, really good to create a linear kind of effect. And then finally, some of our wax flower placed here, 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 placed around here, and a little tulip over towards the back of the design. You can see that there's a contrast between something like this one and something like this here. One feels a little bit more, uh, a little on the way out side. The other one is a little bit more classical, romantic kind of feel. So you can come up with different kinds of effects on these things depending upon the kind of, of impact you want to make. We can go in many different directions design-wise when we're doing designs for Super Bowl. Okay, let's see what else we have because we have some other very, very neat things, my viewer, to share with you and I think that you're going to find this kind of interesting. Once again, the whole concept of this video is to show you different approaches that we can follow in floral art for designs with a Super Bowl theme. Now here we've got another one that also incorporates some of our anthurium. This one is kind of neat. We've got an anthurium here, an anthurium here, just as we were playing with some of our anthurium in this one. But in this particular case, we have a few other added interesting things here. Uh, if you look at it real closely, there's some green hydrangea. You see the green hydrangea over on the left side of the design, which is kind of cool. We have not only our green hydrangea, but we also have, again, some of our yellow daisy palms here next to the hydrangea. We've got another yellow palm here, and then a couple of pieces of eucalyptus shooting out towards the back to give a kind of a dramatic kind of an effect to the design. Once again, these things are quick and easy to do. Just my descriptions alone give you a good sense of how to make them. Throw your anthurium in, throw a little piece of hydrangea, a few daisy palms, a couple of eucalyptus, and there you've got something that is kind of interesting and funky for this uh, wonderful event. Now, what else do we have? Here's something that's kind of interesting. And again, it has an interesting combination of materials in it. And just bear with me, my viewer, as I move one design and put another one out. In this particular case, we have a very, very pretty arrangement. Very pretty arrangement. Again, it's using our football ceramic container as a base. This one's a little bit bigger uh, in terms of size, in large part because we're using some of this great uh, curly willow material. In other words, you can see the curly willow over here. Whenever you want to come up with kind of a wild effect, always consider the use of some of your branching materials, and curly willow works so well. Uh, a combination of our flowers, 
a couple of our roses here, uh, a slightly darker pink rose coming right down here, and then several of our lilies, one here, one here, uh, a small anthurium over on the side here. Um, some of our umbrella palm worked into it just to give an interesting effect in terms of foliage shooting out in all directions. And then finally the use of some of our wonderful wax flower here and here to kind of finish the design off. It gives a very, very pretty effect, a little bit more open and airy, kind of linear, and I think it's an interesting design. Similar to that, let's come up with something that is a little bit tighter. This one's a little bit looser in feeling. Let's come up with something that has things compacted in a little bit closer. Very, very similar materials you can see. And you can see the difference between one that's a little bit more open and airy and one that is a little bit more formal. In this more formalized design, what we have here, again, a nice combination of materials. Quick, easy, and fun to do, uh, but similar kind of contents. On this particular one, you can see at the very, very top of the design, uh, kind of uh, uh, towards the back, an umbrella palm placed here. And then taking some of our other materials, we've got a rose right here, another rose here and here coming in towards the front, uh, several of our lilies, one right here and here, a few of our yellow daisy palms worked in here, and then a little bit of our uh, wax flower placed over on the side. Again, a very, very pretty design, one that works so well for this particular occasion. What else do we have? We have a few more. Our staff has been working very, very diligently to come up with all kinds of ideas for you, to show you how you can come up with some really, really cool things for Super Bowl. And these are easy designs to make, they're fun to make, and you can really go wild on it. Now, there are some people who are always down on carnations. You know, it's a very common flower, so forth and so on. But you know something? I think that that's really not quite fair. Carnations are one of the most uh, easy flowers to handle. They come in a rainbow of colors. They're very reasonably priced and they hold up so well. And what we're doing in this particular design is we've got a few of our carnations here, 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 kind of like a little step-like arrangement of it. And then we took some of our carnations and worked them around in a circle on the base. And then, to add interest and contrast to this, the body of this design is using this stuff. This stuff is amazing. This happens to be one of my favorite new materials. It's uh, Australian pine. It's very, very neat. It's great foliage. It holds up very, very well. You can use it to create linear effects really, really nice. And by using a combination of our more traditional carnations, but then having some of this Australian pine just work through the thing, it really gives a kind of kinky and funky effect. Once again, these are designs that you can make using things that you can find at your local supermarket. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun to do, and I think that you'd enjoy uh, coming up with something like that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of designs as we get towards the end of our presentation here that involve something a little bit more uh, involved, that, but I still think it's kind of funky and worth showing you because I think that you'll enjoy it. In this particular one, we have something rather interesting. We're using, again, our everyday materials in terms of carnations and mini carnations. If you look at this here, carnations coming over here, some mini carnations shooting over on the side here. But what makes this one rather interesting is what you see in the center. You see the center here? Well, my viewer, this is not a living flower. What we have going on in the center is actually a flower constructed from balloons. Yeah, a flower constructed from balloons. At Rittner's Floral School, we teach all kinds of interesting effects and techniques. And in our current day class, we've been having fun recently doing some of these balloon flowers, which are really, really funky and give an interesting effect. To create a little contrast here, again, a piece of our Australian pine shooting out on this thing, which gives kind of a, a funky kind of counterpoint to the design. Interesting, quick and easy. The only tricky part of this is the flower balloon. Come to Rittner's, we'll show you how to do it. Now, let me show you another one here that I think that you're going to find kind of fun. And again, it gets across the same theme. Bear with me, my viewer, while I'm moving a few things around. Again, the concept on this particular one happens to be uh, to give you a feel for uh, an interesting effect that you can come up with. This one, again, 
is a little bit larger. It's a little bit larger in terms of content. What gives it the height is again the Australian pine. If you look carefully at this design, you'll see that we've got Australian pine coming here, here, shooting over here and here, which gives us our height on this design. And then coming down in towards the center of the design, two of our uh, flowers that are made from balloons, one right here, one over here, and then a couple of roses, because roses are, of course, a perennial favorite. Everybody loves the rose. And then just to fill in a few pieces of our wax flower on this design. My viewer, I want to show you one more design that I think you're going to find enjoyable before we uh, stop on this presentation. This particular one, a little bit more classical but beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? This happens to be uh, a lovely design and then coming in close to it, you think you can see we have again a wide variety of different materials here, a polychromatic mix as far as our colors are concerned. In this particular design, we have a lily, we have a green hydrangea, we happen to have some of our roses and reds and pinks, uh, uh, some of our uh, wax flower placed here and there through the design, and then some of our Australian pine, which helps to finish the arrangement off in a very, very nice way. So you can see that you can use all kinds of combinations of materials, materials that you can get from your local florist, materials you can get at any outlet to come up with some very, very interesting effects with these designs. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot of ground in a short period of time. Floral designing reflects culture and it can reflect all aspects of culture and all kinds of things that we can celebrate. For many of us, Super Bowl is one of the great points of the year. We enjoy it. We enjoy meeting with friends and families, watching the game, having good food, and having a great time. And floral art can enhance your enjoyment of this wonderful event. And they've got all these wonderful ceramic containers that are available out there to reflect any sports desire. Certainly football is an important one in our culture. We've worked very hard, our staff has been working very, very hard to create these designs so that you can see a variety of different possibilities inherent in floral art for Super Bowl. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we want to thank you for coming in and visiting with us today. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. Thank you and have a great game and enjoy the game and enjoy your day.